Hi, this is Diane. This is the last class in my course on the Hermetic Principles, and this one is on the principle of gender. I'm going to start with an opening prayer that I created for gender. The universe is always creating. We are powerful creators. The process of creation is a constant spiral of ideas and doing. We joyfully and gratefully create and ride our own spiral. We release the how to the universe. For me right now, I've been experiencing, sensing, feeling a lot of chaotic anxiousness. And it's hard to stay focused during that energy. This class is really important to me, and this is the last one in the series, and I really, I'm really ready actually to put it to bed and start creating something more closer to my own voice so that there isn't so much research. Because what I really want to share is from my heart to your heart. And right now, I am grounding my my ideology, if you will, that I'm going to use going forward. And so in doing this, it's really just the last piece of the puzzle that I have been looking for to put everything together so that I can see a complete picture of how everything works and seal my understanding. And then now that I have that, or I'm solidifying that, it's really, the platform that I'm building moving forward. And it's just amazing how everything is just coming together. So I'm truly, truly grateful how I created this to reach out for connection. And I found a deeper understanding of my own guidance than I, I've never known before. And now that I have this connection with my guidance, I have the, the tools and which I'm calling my magic tools, because that's what it feels like to me, a magic tool on every level based on what I need in the, that current moment to not only get me through the moment, but get me to prosper to them through that moment. So when I make it to sunset and go to bed, I feel at ease knowing that my next day is going to be brighter. So I'm grateful and chaotic. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start right into the lesson. This is the Hermetic Principle of Gender. Gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Gender manifests on all planes, the Kabbalion. The word gender is derived from the Latin root, meaning to beget, to procreate, to generate, to create, to produce. It's important to note in this hermetic teaching when they're talking about gender, and masculine and feminine, they're talking much more than the male and the, fe and the female or in sex in general. There, that is one small sliver of a big, huge dimension of what gender is. Gender, as we'll, we'll see as we continue, is basically the coming together of the two difference and then creating a new, whole new, it's creation. This is where it all happens. It's, you know, it's the magic between the hands that we can never completely understand, or at least not yet. The office of gender is solely that of creating, producing, generating, etc. It is in manifestations or visible on every plane and phenomenon. So this is not only creating a new offspring. This is every phenomenon, everywhere you look, you see atoms coming together in the positive and negatives, reforming and creating a new. It's in everywhere we look. 
one of the examples that they give, which is great because it really seems to grasp the center of it all, is the law of gravitation, which is the strange attraction by reason of which all particles, bodies of matter in the universe tend towards each other is but another manifestation of the principle of gender, which operates in the direction of tra attracting the masculine to the feminine energies and vice versa. So in each time, anywhere where you see creation happen, it defines down to seeing the part of the masculine principle of that seems to be directing a certain inherent mm -hmm. energy towards the feminine principle of another. And thus, starting into activity, the creation process. So it's basically saying the, the masculine energy, as it goes out, it's, it creates a certain vibration, which creates a gravitational pull towards this feminine. As it pulls in the feminine, it actually, the vibration of just it being, it starts into activity, the creative process. But the feminine principle is the one always doing the active creative work. And this so on all planes. The feminine is the one that's creating the womb, the place for which the energy change to happen. And as it creates this, this container, it's also creating a vibration and an energy. And that energy is also has a gravitational pull towards the masculine of that, which is its opposite. And yet each principle is incapable of operative energy without the assistance of the other. The feminine needs to have certain energy towards them to activate the creative processes. And then the masculine needs somewhere to send the energy for which their creative process is to be created. So they both are dependent on each other. Neither one can create with, without the other. In some forms of life, the two principles are combined in one organism. For that matter, everything in the organic world manifests both genders. There's always a masculine present in a feminine form, and there's always a feminine present in the masculine form. So this is basically saying wherever you look, there's a degree of both genders going on. And the, the feminine of that form is gravitating towards a masculine of another form, and the, and the masculine is gravitating to a a feminine, and then as they pull together, they basically switch in linear line and create a new. Since we know that we can apply all laws to all other laws, we know that based on the law of mentalism, which is the first one we use, we can apply the law to gender to that. The student will find himself in a dual consciousness possession of a self, which may be considered in it an I and a me dual aspects. So this is where they're noticing a dual aspect within the mental mind. Not only is there this me that, that consists of the body and the feelings and all the mental, but there's also an I. They find that there exists a mental something which is able to will the me to act along certain creative lines in which to be able to stand aside and witness the mental creation. This part of himself, he is taught to call the I. So the I is that of myself, which is watching that of myself, which sometimes is doing. The I has, the ability to project an energy from the I to the me in the process of willing. 
that the mental creation begin and proceed. He also finds that the eye is able to stand aside and witness the operations of the me's mental creation and generation. There is this dual aspect of the mind in everyone. An eye represents the masculine and the me represents the feminine. The eye represents the aspect of being and the me represents the aspect of becoming. So you have these two different states and the I feeds the me. And that's how, how creation comes. Even from a person, you have your thoughts, which is your I feeding into your me, which is your actions. The tendency of the feminine principle is always in the direction of receiving impressions, while the tendency of the masculine principle is always in the direction of giving out or expressing. The masculine principle of mind corresponds to the so-called objective mind, conscious mind, voluntary mind, active mind, etc. And the feminine principle of mind corresponds to the so-called subjective mind, subconscious mind, involuntary mind, passive mind. Now it goes into an area best described as suggestion. Suggestion, by which the term is meant, the process or method whereby an idea is transferred to or impressed upon the mind of another, causing the second mind to act accordingly. So how this works is quite interesting. So as we spoke, you have your I and your me. Your I is your will. And in people that have a weak will, or they don't use the disciplines to strengthen their will, they are evilly influenced by the will of others. And how that happens is, it is seen how the vibrate, vibratory energy of the masculine principle is projected towards the feminine principle in another person. In the other person, takes the seed thought and allows it to develop into maturity. The masculine principle of the person giving the suggestion directs a stream of vibration, vibratory energy or willpower towards the feminine principle of the other person and the latter accepts it as their own and thinks and acts accordingly. The normal method is for the masculine and feminine principles in a person's mind to coordinate and act harmoniously in conjunction with each other. But unfortunately, the masculine principle in the average person is too lazy to act and display of willpower is too slight. And the consequence is that such persons are ruled almost entirely by the minds and wills of the other person who they allow to do their thinking and willing for them. The strong men and women of the world manifest the masculine principle of will. They dominate their own minds by their will, obtaining the kind of mental images, desires, and moreover, dominate their mind of others likewise in the same. Look at the strong people, how they manage to implant their seeds of thought into the mind of the masses, thus causing the latter to think and act accordingly at the wills of the strong individuals. It really just reminds me of that person, you know, that's so charismatic. Everywhere they go, they just 100% light up a room. And that's what they're doing. They're, they have such a strong will and being in who they are. They bring that forth into their being. Some people do it with intention by giving people an intention, intended direction. And at the same time, those pe same people can do it just as someone walks in the room. This is a really good example of the energy work that I do works is basically as the energies come together, if you have a strong will and intention, you can put that will and intention and hold it in a certain spot 
until that the I and the me are able to hold that in play. So this actually completes the part on gender. Um, I hope that this explained it or at least maybe opened up some questions. I'm going to go ahead and do a what I call a aligning and centering session, a quick one, and then do the closing. And this will complete our class. Thank you for everyone that joined. Please stay tuned for what I produce next. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and get comfortable in our chairs. Take deep breaths. But today I want you to draw your attention just below your rib cage to your will center. This is your wisdom and your power. And what we're going to do is we're going to strengthen the will behind it so that it can illuminate through. So close your eyes to draw your attention to that area. In every moment, pull your body up, make sure that you're aligned and centered, shoulders back. Just breathe light in there. Go ahead and feel, it almost feels like raindrops or mist drops landing on your warm, cool drips of water landing on your warm skin. Each one, each drip brings like an illumination of light. It goes into all your pores. You have all this light, you have light coming from above light coming from your knowing, light coming in through your eyes, light coming in through your, your voice and communications, light coming in through your love. All this light is coming up through. It's all available, coming right into your your wisdom and your power. It's time to let your will and your ownership happen. You know who you are. You know what you believe. You know what you see. You know what you hear. You know what you love. You have the wisdom to know what's right, what feels right and what feels wrong, which way you wanna go, which way you don't. You have the power and the will and the strength and all this light. And all you need to do is just trust and let it go. I'm not telling you to fall blindly black into nothing. I'm telling you, you have the will of your actions. Take your actions and put them into the support of all that you know and all that you believe in. And take that and put it into your creations. Everything you do, how you walk around the world, Going to lunch and talking to the waitress, that is a creation created that moment. That is a light exchange, an energy exchange, a color exchange. 
What I want you to do is I want you to focus all of that. Take a few days and journal everything that fulfills you all the way through down into this and that you're gonna pour into your creation. I want you to fill that all in and just start letting it out every time you move. Every moment you walk on the earth, you ooze that which you are. Because it is who you are. And you don't have to be afraid anymore because we're dropping down into the trust. Okay, I struggle with trust too. So for right now, right below your tailbone, there's a cord. In this cord, I want you to cut. I just cut my hair. We're gonna cut the cord. Don't fear. You're not gonna float free away, I have you. So cut the cord. I want you to, once again, notice all your beliefs, your awareness, your communications, your love, your wisdom, your power, your creativity, and we're gonna take that, and we're gonna take that into full trust and throw that right down that cord, right down your fanny, straight down into the center of the earth. Because you know who always has you? Mother Earth. Let that be your support system. Let the universe be your support system. Let the awe be your support system. When you trust in the awe, there's no fear. When your feet are in the ground, there's no fear. So we trust into our senses. We connect into our senses. So I want you to let all that you are flow out your senses and in your senses. And don't forget thoughts. Sight, touch, taste, sound, sound. Sight. I'm going to go ahead and close and you can just relax. The light of all surrounds us. The love of all enfolds us. The power of all watches over us. Wherever we are, all is and that's the truth. I know. Thank you.